Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, this time I'm doing a small review on my uh, custom figures that I have over here that I made so far for my Thundercats Masters of the Universe. And um, I got, uh, I started over here. Uh, I did, give me a second, my cat is over here with me. <laughs> Uh, I did order the uh, the Thundercat symbols um, for all of these. Uh, as you can see, I got Mom right here and those symbols right there, like from Water Slides. They're decals, so you know they stick pretty well to the figure. Um, but yeah, it was it. All of these are kick bash or you know in, in custom. You know a lot of painting, a lot of switching around with different parts of different figures to make myself my own versions of the masses of the universe uh thundercats uh, so for right now i have these ones uh, oh, i was gonna say i got back the this one bengali is you know i made it from different figures i think it's hordak a wrestler uh this part right here is one of the Sunman figures. The head is from uh, the Super 7 line, stuff like that. And, uh, give me a second. And, uh, and there was, you know, I, I did a lot of painting and stuff like that to make the figure uh, look like the, the uh, you know, the smaller version of the, of the Super 7 one. Uh, painted the um, the feet white, and I'm gonna do a comparison. You know, once I get all these done, this is a work in progress still, uh, because I still need the the symbols, the Thundercat symbols, and I also need to customize some weapons. I I have an ideas of uh, you know what I want to do. It's just the time, you know, the time that I that I have to spend doing these, and with me working, I gotta have a little bit of family time too. So, yeah, I um, was using this, uh, this that came, I can't remember, I think it came with either Panthro, no, no, I, I think it came with the, uh, with, um, with Tiger here, but the, um, I want to say is the Bandai one, the Bandai, Bandai figure, I think it is, but my, my cat, you know, I was, uh, my cat saw it and, and she just ripped it apart, so I got to tie it up again uh, and yeah I'm giving these guys also uh, some weapons so for example here I gave Bengali a, a small little katana and then uh, Lionel here I followed uh, a few of the steps I didn't know what belt fits him the best so I gave him this one I, uh, I'm going to uh, try to get rid of that star right there and leave that that part flat and stick the uh, Thundercat symbol right right in there. This part right here is from uh, Clam Champ. I do watch uh, a lot of customizers. The, the one that I like the most is Mr. Homer K. He's one of the best customizers for Masses of the Universe out there. But he also cut this little part right here, which I haven't done that yet. Probably will, but... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to do it yet, but I, that's one of the things that I, I still got to do to make this vest complete. But other than that, that is my Lionel. And uh, the one that I made yesterday, or one of the ones that I made yesterday is Chitara over here with the body of, uh, the whole body is from, uh, oh man, uh, April O'Neil. Turtles of Grayskull, April O'Neil. And I just painted the, you know, the chest piece, red, the boots, the, this little part right here, gold, and kind of like a reddish type of color. Leave the arm normal in there, and then I painted this part right here, kind of like beige type of color, and added those little spots right there, which match the uh, how Chitara looks in the cartoon. So, pretty cool. 
And then yesterday I also made, well, I'm going to show you guys what I made a long time ago. I made this figure right here. I made a monkey man from the body of a Stratos. And uh, the same thing for this, but I do a little bit of switching around for, for Vulture Man. But I'll show you in a second. But uh, I've seen Mr. Homer K once again. I've seen him do this figure with the body of uh, oh, well, Andrew the Giant. And uh, I do have another monkey in, in the package, the one that just came out. And matter of fact, I want to get um, the Lionel because uh, he's got the the uh, the the claw, the the claw that, that he uses, the gauntlet claw, claw that he uses in the cartoon. Uh, in in I think it might fit his hand. I'm not sure, but uh, but he does come with that. Um, so I do have another monkey, in, and I'm thinking of doing another one. But for right now, this is what I have, and I use these little straps right here um, from different wrestlers. Try to match the colors of his uh, trousers, shorts, whatever you're gonna call it. What I am missing over here is the hair in the back, but that's okay. So that's him. Another bad guy over here, of course, is Momra, the head of the uh, um, Super 7 Momra. And I've also watched Mr. Homer K's video on how to make another one out of uh, uh, Slackers, uh, Turtles of Great Coast Slacker, Slacker figure. And I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make, you know, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to follow his tutorial and make, uh, make it work. So as you can see, there's the skirt of, uh, oh man, what is, uh, King Randor, I think, because he didn't need it, really. I have two King Randors, so he didn't really need this, so, so I used it for, for Mumra. The cape is for also Mumra, but the mummy Mumra. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I glue, I, I hot glue it. You know, and I put those straps right there so you can hold the cape. So that's Mumra. And the one that I did yesterday with Shitara is Vultureman over here. And Vultureman and Monkey, and the difference is uh, the body is the same, but the feet, I, I uh, put the feet of uh, Buzz off. The, the feet and the, you know, the, the, the boots of Buzz off. This skirt right here, the this karma or skirt, whatever you're gonna call it, this, this is um from um a skeleton, the Skeletor, Turtles of Grisco Skeletor, and I repainted it uh purple in inside and out, as you can see. The hands are also from Bolterman, so I switched the hands. Of course, I got my alternate head, and this cape right here is from Splinter from Charles of Grey School. I'm gonna paint all of this brown to match how he looks in the cartoon but that's as far as I'm gonna go. I could cut this out but it, I'm, I don't know man I like the way he looks with the cape so I'm gonna keep him like that and just paint this part brown. So far that's what I'm you know that those are my uh the figures that I'm making, I don't know how I'm gonna how, uh, how I'm gonna do a, a slith. I think that's his name, Slith. Um, the the mutant, the um, what do you call him? The uh, the reptile one. The reptile looking uh, mutant. Because um, I do have an extra head, but I I don't know how to how we fit him how I would fit him fit that head in a in a uh origins uh figure so i'm gonna see what a, what you know what i can do one of the figures that i am making right now to complete the bad guys well not complete but you know i, I still got a few more to go is uh i'm painting him orange and i do have another jackalman in the package which i'm going to use it to you know finish up this figure. Everything was the way I wanted it. Of course, this is the body of um, uh, 
splinter, torso vertical, torso vertical splinter. So, so all of this is a splinter, the cape, the body. Uh, I'm gonna change this, um, the shorts, and I gotta paint the legs orange, the feet orange. I think I'm gonna keep this like it is, the, the color of the, uh, of the shin guards or the boots right here. I think the, you know, I think the color, I'm, I'm good with that color. Uh, but the rest uh, or the armor and all this stuff, it it should fit. I I try to put them side by side, see see if if, if it's ar around the same size, and it is very close. But we'll see, we'll see. But for for right now, that's what I have right now. That's Jackman right here, not finished of course. But uh, he'll be finished in the next couple of days. Uh, I know it's in his way. Oh, I'm I'm well. I have the Jacobin on pre. Uh, I, I ordered it uh, online for twenty seven dollars. Somebody was selling it for twenty seven on eBay, and I did not hesitate to get it. I got it, uh, you know, shipped and everything. I think I paid uh, about thirty two dollars maybe for for that Jacobin. And but I want to make a Origins figure, so <laughs> a Jacobin. So I can't wait for him to get it. I am gonna use his hands, so that's why I didn't paint the hands. But um, yeah, you gotta be very patient with this, very patient. I gotta paint this part right here, kind of like a cream color, I think it is. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Bengali here keeps falling. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm standing right now with these customs. I do have a lot more customs that I want to show you guys. I just haven't had the time to, to make a video. I, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. And I was trying to make a video of a lot of stuff that was coming my way. Especially Masters of the Universe, uh, Masterverse and Origins. Uh, also some Star Wars stuff that I, that I ordered. Uh, but also some DC stuff. Um, what I'm going to starting to do just so I can have time to do what I need to do and so I'm gonna do reviews on Masters of the Universe and Star Wars and just show you a collection update on, on my uh, DC and Marvel stuff Transformers every once in a while too uh, as a matter of fact I have cleaned up my Transformers shelf so I'm gonna do a collection video pretty soon on that but yeah just a small real overview of the figures that I have so far, yeah, I know how to, I, I, I'm, I got, I'm, I got to do a Panthro figure, but Panthro is gonna have to come a little later. So there's gonna be more updates on this once I get the uh, little decals for the figures. When I, once I get some weapons made up, once I get my new Mumra. So there's gonna be a part two to, to this. I don't know when, but I'll, I'll try to work on them this weekend. And I think this weekend I got a lot to do also, you know, family-wise. Um, a little bit of, you know, I got to make a little extra money on my other job that I have on the weekends, but I don't think I'm going to make that much money this weekend. Well, that's it for this video. Just a small little update on my Masters of the Universe Origins uh, Thundercats. Thundercat customs. That's what I'm trying to say. Thundercat customs from uh, my or from from the Origins line over here. Custom figures. Really awesome to make these figures, man. A lot of painting, a lot of switching, a lot of you know different parts for different characters. You know you got to make it work sometimes. Anyway, that is pretty much for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.